What's up guys, Adam Palmer here, and in this video, I'm going to show you this crazy, crazy system that I created for bidding on all of the different jobs on Upwork that you are looking to get into. And this is gonna get quite in detail here. If you look at this Trello board I set up, and maybe this looks uh, a little familiar from my other video that I did. It was called like bidding like a beast or something like this. I got a lot of comments on there and they wanted to see how I set that up to kind of get the feeds in the first place. But I wanted to take a moment and make it even crazier. So when I did finally make this video, you guys can have a really great system uh, that you can apply for the types of jobs that you wanna get. So basically, um, all of the different jobs uh, categorized here are in these different columns here. So as you see, these are jobs uh, about active campaign platform, click funnel, Kajabi jobs, Sam cart, high level, all of these different platforms that I work with regularly. And the reason I wanted to do this is because I wanted to kind of, uh, when I send the proposals, tailor it towards these different platforms. I don't ever want to just send out like generic proposals. I want that to cater them towards, towards the job. Okay. So if you look at this find work section here, and this is what you would see on Upwork. So these are jobs that you might like. This is your feed. And, and as you see, you know, we've done search queries before and generally speaking, it does a good job of displaying them here and you can have your hearts and your thumbs down and everything. But what I did is basically as these are coming through in all their different categories, it's all being fed to the Trello board. And this is all done through RSS. And so what happens is when these jobs are posted on Upwork, again, via S RSS, and I'll show you guys how to connect that through Zapier in a second, but it gets fed into here. All of the data is displayed. So this is an example right here if we go into, and the title, the description, um, the link to apply to it, and it's all automated. And also what I did is, um, if I'm gonna have other people bidding through the agency, I can put different virtual assistants and make that all automated too. So someone's basically being responsible with sending this proposal, if I'm not gonna do it myself. I mean, I can just do it myself. And then what I did is I put these buttons here. So once I do bid on this, I can say send proposal and that will automatically uh, get sent to this and then it'll mark up here so I can keep track of all of the different proposals I sent on the Trello board. And if it's not a good fit, I can, I can send, I can just hit here and it will archive the card. I can say it's not available anymore. If like we click in and it's not available. And if there's a priority job, meaning like, oh, this is definitely one that I want someone else to bid on. I can just hit this and it will pop up into the priority job. So, you know, the VAs or even me, I can go in and be like, this is this is something really, really nice. So yes, it, it does do a little bit of, you know, if I was gonna heart it or whatever, but I'm a visual person, you know, and even with the hearts here, you know, if, if people are clicking, like if you're clicking the heart, then you still have to like go back into the save jobs and then, and then do it all. But I like it more visual. I like to see this stuff in real time and kind of track all the stuff on my own. And then also, like I said, I can have different team members also help me out in these places. And the greatest thing is that you could set up all this other automation stuff. Like, you know, you, I could have messages sent to me if like something looks really good, depending on like keywords and everything like that. Let me show you guys uh, exactly how the RSS is set up internally. So if we take a random job, let's say something like that, the active campaign, we can go in and what you're gonna do is, you see this RSS by Zap, is it 
by Zapier, Zapier, whatever you want to call. This is the feed that Upwork gets you. So if you look, this is mostly the only thing that changes in, in most of these queries. I think this, I think this may be depending on who the person is. I don't know if that changes so much. Um, there could be a security token in there. So hopefully you should just grab your own just so they know where it's going. And then if you go into here, like this is where you can, you can take that from. So if you go RSS, normally guys, when you do it, it will give you the little feed. So you can take that and then plug it right here. And then that's going to trigger and you can put a filter here if you want, but then you connect your, your Trello and then you can grab the sample data and put it right here. So you can break that all up and then have it go into your different card positions, add your labels, whatever you want to do here. And then that's going to then pop up onto your Trello board when it's done. So it gives you just a, a great visual aid of like all of these different jobs being displayed. And then you can have, um, also you can kind of look at the different trends. Let's say you want to see, you know, what is the most popular? Well, we see like, you know, Shopify is getting like tons of jobs being posted. Uh, we can put due dates in there. We can see who's in charge of of sending the bids and how many uh they have currently different labels like i mentioned and it's just a it's extraordinary way to to really keep track of everything and see all of the different jobs being posted and all the different opportunities and it's just so easy to just kind of go in here uh, instead of having to log in to the system like you can do this on the fly you can you can grab the trello app and you can still just like, you know, go right into here, um, see that, see where the link is. You can just go right to it over here. So you can go right to it after you click it, you can then apply and it can be very seamless. And then once you hit the, the, the apply, and then you can go over here and just keep track and, and then say that, oh, I, I bid on the job. So you would just hit this afterwards and then it's going to I know I didn't apply but I'll just show you what happens so that's going to then just pop up here and yeah so you can see all these ones that that I applied to I just started making this a couple days ago so maybe not all these have the check marks but yeah now it's now it's working perfectly and the cool thing about it too is let's just go over here. So like we have what's called a bid squad. So any members of the team that are going to be put into this kind of round robin of who's going to be bidding on, on the different jobs, you just put them right into here. And those will be the specific people that get selected to send the bids. So I know that this, this is, uh, it, it could be a little complex. If you guys have any questions about this, or if you think it's a good idea, or if this has been helpful, please just throw a comment in there. I'll do my best to answer any specific questions. But, and if you need help setting this up, just let me know because we could probably help you there too, because we can kind of like duplicate this thing and just tailor it for your certain industry. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully this is helpful guys. And if it is, please give me a thumbs up. It would really help me out, help the channel grow. Uh, you guys have been super awesome and supportive lately. I've been trying to up the content game. As you see, we're getting nicer cameras, nice, nicer microphones. We're trying to make this, this good for you guys. So um, yeah, it would be super helpful if we can uh, help grow. If there's anything that you want me to, uh, to answer any methods, any things that I'm doing as far as like proposals go. I know that there's been, there's been a lot of talk lately about how the cost of, of connects and, and, and proposals and how expensive it's getting and, and things like that. But you know, the, 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 the thing is, it's very competitive. So more and more competitive with 
awesome freelancers everywhere looking to do this freelance game and and it's like why not it's like would you rather work a nine to five or or be able to just uh just work from wherever you are in the world and it's just gotten really competitive and we're seeing a lot of people being like oh a biddle on on these jobs and i'm not getting any any hits and it's like you ask them well it's like how many are you bidding on it's like oh you know one five per week or blah 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 as you see i mean we're going ham right now with with our bidding i mean all of these are it's getting it's getting super crazy so i suggest you up your bidding game because you you can really control that like how many proposals go out and i would say like you know the the more the merrier and it, it, if like you should be sending out hundreds um and not putting too much weight on one job post i mean you see how many jobs are being posted and i would say get ahead of that get in early to these you know this pops up in real time so i'm alerted you know that's the other advantage here guys that i can jump on these jobs early and if you look at the activity you know this is this is two minutes ago this is normally throughout the course of the day you're seeing this this pop up more like very frequently every couple minutes you know new jobs being posted so i would yeah look three two three minutes ago uh eight minutes ago um 13 minutes ago 14 minutes ago 16 minutes ago 18 minutes ago 20 minutes ago 23 you know so these things are 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 rapidly being posted so the idea of just like sending a couple proposals per day or even per week sounds sounds crazy you should be sending proposals a couple of times for 10 minutes or an hour like you should be getting them out i mean look at how many in just an hour and this is a sunday guys this is a sunday this isn't even during the week i'm making this video on a sunday and every couple of minutes a new job so look if if the connect thing is is tough for you and um and and it's expensive i'm sorry but like you gotta realize that like one good job will pay for all of your connects like i always say that i mean you have the ability to make a five-figure job off of this and it's like how much do the bids cost a couple cents each i mean come on it's not even it, it's a very small amount to pay to get in front of clients and you should be getting in front of as many prospects as humanly possible and you see this board just getting updated and unless you're leaving that page up on upwork and reloading it every couple minutes reloading reloading you're not going to get the jump on these jobs like you would if you set up a system like this so again if there's anything in here that you want me to get into detail more with please let me know i i, I know i kind of skated through some of these things but just let me know if you get stuck i'd love to help stay in front of these jobs Post regularly, post often, set up alerts for yourself. So anytime something comes that's relevant, jump on it. And then as you get the process down a little more, you could have people help you just like I'm doing. And yeah, you can really industrialize your, your bidding here. And I really suggest that you do because the opportunities are there. They're not going away. And this is the one thing that you can control is sending out the proposals and sending out good proposals guys so thank you let me know what you guys think and we will talk to you soon bye bye